Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a bit of a different video now. Uh, I am going to be just showcasing off my uh, setup and in addition to my setup, which is the main reason to this uh, this video, which is the Hori Farming Simulator kind of like uh, bundle. Um, it is a steering wheel, as you can see, and a side panel. And yeah, I just want to talk to you about it because I never played with a steering wheel before i've always used a controller so it's nice to kind of upgrade to that and now i did get this on release but i wanted to build this stand so as you can see i actually built this stand over christmas myself from kind of the wood you can see the background there um, and i have done a load of cable management i've painted it sanded it down and it's 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 brilliant it makes my life so much easier because i can switch between now it's just one usb um connection now instead because everything's fitted to that table pretty well so i just put it to the side and then i move it over when I need it. And yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's m improved the gameplay so much. Now, I'll talk about the product a little bit more, especially like, do I think it's worth it? Is it a good, you know, product value for money? Um, I'll talk about that when I get into the gameplay side of things. Uh, because it's not technically a review, this isn't. This is just me showcasing um, the product itself and my setup at the same time. So you can see that I'm just showing you the the, the stand now, this is a voiceover, I'm doing a voiceover because it just made more sense to do a voiceover on my normal mic. Um, and you can see that the, the the pedals as well, I actually put Velcro, uh, like DC Velcro on the bottom to make it stick to the carpet in my man cave slash recording room, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, they're, they're sturdy, they're sturdy. The, the, the pedals themselves are actually really sturdy. Um, dead easy to connect to as well. I actually really like it. I have to say, I'm dead happy with it. It's a lot of money for what it was. It has improved the gameplay, and because of the amount of times I play FS, I, I actually really like it. Uh, but it is, you know, it does feel a little bit flimsy. Steering wheel turns really well. There was an issue that I had, and I had to update the software. So if you are getting one, make sure you update the software on the steering wheel, because I was having an issue with turning right. So definitely go ahead and do that. Now you can see as well that it's, spring it's not got any force feedback but it does spring pretty easily back into the center and this the table itself i'll showcase near the state the table that i've built is actually really sturdy as well because it's not rocking it from side to side now the side panel i'm actually really happy with i don't use this for the accelerator there but this itself is brilliant for stacking bales using it on telehandler any and any uh, telehandler sorry anything that's like a front loader it's really useful for um Big, big plus for that. It just feels a little bit cheap on the buttons. The buttons are very plasticky. Um, they are. I just hope they last out. That's my only worry. But I wanted to give an honest review of this product because of the fact that, you know, this isn't a sponsored video. I am a consumer of this product. I spent £360 on Amazon and I want to give an honest review of it now that I've used it and I've set everything up. Um, I am going to be using this in every video going forward. Um, and yeah, I'd rather be honest that it does feel a little bit cheap for the £360 we pay for it. But again, it's brilliant. It's designed for Farming Simulator. And I actually think I'm happy with the money that I spent. I think it's worth it for me personally. But again, it's it's a difficult one to, for me to say, yeah, definitely go out and buy it because it might be different for you. Um, it depends how much you play the game. So there you go. That's the actual stand that I've made from. And you can see the, the cable management as well. And it looks pretty cool. Right, so what I'm actually showing now is something I got for Christmas, and I really like this. It's technically like a motivational board. It's some of the best comments I've had on my time on, a, on my channel making content. Um, they're on this little board, and if I get any good ones that I see as well, I'm going to add them to the board. And, it, you know, it just gives me keeps me motivated for the long hours than the dedication it, it demands, obviously, doing videos and working as well at the same time. So it's, it's, it's difficult, but this, this kind of thing really helps. It's a, you know, really motivational. So hopefully you can see your name on there. I don't know if you can, if, if you're watching the video and you see your name on there, thank you for these comments. These are what keep me going. And I really like the idea of that. So a great gift that I got at Christmas. So this is actually my backup PC. This is a PC that I had before uh, my last build and I moved over. So, um, yeah, just a quick shot of that. Now, this is something that I actually got as a present for Christmas. It's my actual sign in neon lights, which is brilliant. I have that on now as uh, one of the main lights that I do when I'm recording. Um, it's really good. So this is the main setup that I've got. I've got my, obviously, pads at the back, which obviously absorb the sound, so we're getting a reverb or anything like that. That's my main PC. I'm rocking a 4090. It's an Intel as well. Um, I built that for the content creating that I do now. Um, and yeah, pretty much 
spot on the 4090 is really good it's uh helps me play in 4k as well so that they're both 4k monitors as well so i've got a secret lab chair highly recommend that definitely for the value of money that is they are brilliant chairs uh probably needs a bit of oil on mine i keep getting a few squeaks now but it's fine still so i've got a stream deck not the biggest one but one that's just suitable for me i use it quite a lot with vca uh got with logitech i've actually got the mouse that recharges itself I forget the name, but it recharges itself as it's on the mouse pad. So I've got the mouse pad as well as the keyboard and the mouse. And then I've got my two 4K monitors. You can see, I've, oh, that's that's one of the best things I've ever been bought, which is a, it keeps my brew warm. So if I make myself a cup of tea, like you can see there, I put it on there and it keeps you warm. And then this is my laptop that I use sometimes for editing, not often anymore, but this is, is mainly for editing and I do a bit of gaming on it. It's a GP66 MSI uh it's it's really good. It is really good. It's got like a 3060 in, I think it is. So not a bad graphics card at all. Uh, now, these are all just backup parts. A lot of these are just boxes, to be honest. These are just parts that I've had whilst building in the past my PCs. It's got some random things on as well. Big fan of Warhammer. Always have been. Uh, this is the last kind of models that I've kept. Oh, yes, it is Ultramarines Blue, so I'm probably going to get a bit of grief for that. But they're, they're the models that I've made and painted. A few pictures there. A few things I got as well from Kennedy Space Center when I went to Florida in 2016. And then you can see I went to Warhammer Festival as well in 2019. So yeah, that's my setup. That's pretty much the Scroft setup. This is where I do my videos. Um, I don't use the backup PC too much anymore, but it's nice to have it just in case, you know, something goes wrong on my computer and I still need to make content or make videos or just play the game, really. Right, so let's try this out then in-game, but also with a camera set up so you can see. So I've got a camera to my right. I'm actually using a controller just right now. This is normally how I'd play. Like, um, I do mix between the everything now but majority of the time i'm playing with a controller because i find it easy just to move around i've got a razer xbox controller really good it's a wired connection as well so it's not wireless but it works a treat so we're just in court farms I've got a few uh, hay bales that i've spawned in and we're just going to do some stacking we're just going to try this out because i want to talk about the product this is technically my opinion so you could call it my review but i'm not going to be sitting in here recommending or not recommending it it's down to you if you want to buy this i will say this it is expensive and i've obviously talked about what i feel about the product itself like how it feels um, when i'm talking about the buttons and and the side panel and uh, yeah, just, just the product itself, I've explained whilst obviously building this setup that I've got in front of me, um, what it kind of is, just the fundamentals of it, what it obviously offers, the side panel, you've obviously got this, and then you've got the steering wheel and the pedals. I mean, £360 is what I'd say. So let's talk about it as we do this. Now, obviously, I've got this set up. I've, all, I've done it uh, a little bit different than normal because um, the way I've done it is... I've obviously got it up and down like you would in cab. You can see the actual maneuver of that on uh, in in game. Um, but what I didn't do is this technically is the way to move the arm like that. Now I prefer to do it by twisting, just because I find the bail or just it stays level easier because you can nudge it too easily if that makes sense. So if I add it to that instead of the arm extending in uh, forward and backwards, then obviously I'd have a an easier chance of knocking it so it's not level and I think it's really important especially in game and first person view to try and keep the bail kind of like that fork as level as possible because it just helps me picking up and then obviously stacking back up uh, this is the mode button as well so I can change camera by clicking that which is really useful I, I love that kind of thing it's, it's helped so much because when obviously I've got my controller but I don't want to be switching between my controller don't get me wrong I have I do find this probably better to drive around like that with one hand on my controller using the camera, the other hand obviously steering the wheel. But when I'm using the arm to pick up bales, it's nice to have the option to just flick between the cameras. Um, we're going to try and stay in cab for this whole thing. So let's just get this done. Let's try this out. I have actually got my mic boom a little bit different here set up. Usually, have it closer to me, but I decided to for the video because I, want, I didn't want it to get any. Yeah, get any of it. You can tell I'm concentrating. 
No, but I didn't want it to restrict any of the view, basically. So, you can see that this works for me, a tree. Now, let's talk about the product itself then. So, 369, I think it was 369 or 360 pound. It was one or the other. I'd have to check. I did buy it from Amazon. I actually pre-ordered it. So, I got it day one. So, this is, I've actually had this for quite some time. I tried it out first and did a few videos, obviously playing the game. I um, really liked the setup at that point, but I decided I need to build a stand. Now, the stand is vital to me because it means that I can switch in between the two. I can switch in between so easily, and it's important that I do that for when I'm editing because I can't have all this in front of me when I'm editing my videos. So I need to get back to just mouse and keyboard at that point. And now with this setup and the way that I've done it with the cable management, it is just one USB that I plug into the system and then unplug it and I just move the stand out of the way. I don't have to disconnect the wheel or you know the, the side panel at all at that point. All I have to do is just move the stand out of the way and unplug one USB. So it's these this is why I say bales need heavier physics. This is a perfect example of why to me giants need to sort out the physics of bales because they they're just way heavier than what it actually is allowing you to do. And you shouldn't be able to drive away like that with a bale. Anyway, completely digressing at this point. So if I switch now, really good, just because I'm, I'm reversing so I can go back to camera mode, uh, which is great. So I see that I turn the opposite way. For some reason, I'm just, um, I'm, I'm used to doing that. Um, I don't know if it's because that's the way it is with the controller. I'm not sure if that's what's, uh, yeah, throwing me off with that. It could be, but I find it uh, something that I'm still, still struggling with, to be honest with you. But overall, the product, it's... As it improved my gameplay, without a shadow of a doubt. But at the same time, I think most... I do think that most setups would. So I don't think it's a fair comparison saying that this hoary uh, side panel and uh, um, steering wheel, which is, in all fairness, is directly made for, obviously, Farming Simulator. So it is, it does have that going for it. It's made for Farming Simulator. But has it improved this my gameplay. Yes, it has. Most steering wheels would, but I do like this steering wheel. I do like the way it's angled. I think that I've used racing simulator, uh, I've used a racing wheel before, and it didn't have the same impact as this does. This is just feels natural. Now, like talking about the feel of the steering wheel, it's unfair for me to kind of give a review on it because I'm not actually using the steering wheel. 99% of the time, if not 100, I'm using this instead, which is such an easier thing to use. It just it means that you can know I can stick to the one hand movement and obviously it's not restricted in any way. So this the wheel itself, it doesn't actually matter to me if it feels a bit, you know, cheap and plasticky. Because I'll be honest with you, it is it does it feel whoa. See, if the bales were heavier, I probably wouldn't have that issue, would I? There we go, just about got there. But yeah, um, is it cheap and flimsy made? Like, yes, it is. Like, I'm just going to say that, just be honest, because I'd rather give you guys an honest review on what my opinion is. Would I expect better material for £360? Yes, I would. I, I can't deny it. The buttons feel flimsy. If you press the buttons, you know, they, they do feel a little bit, like, cheaply made, and, you know, it's not going to take much. Hopefully, it will, but it's not going to take much room to just damage in any, any way. But if I look after this... I think it's going to last me out. I do. I th and I love the, the fact of how much it's improved my gameplay. So is it worth the £360 to me personally? Yes, it is. Because I play FS every day. I make videos every day. So I'm obviously going to be using this quite a bit. And it has improved my gameplay. I love the steering wheel setup. I love this steering wheel in, in particular. And I have to give Horry some credit there. Because, you know, they've designed something that makes me feel like it's suited to this kind of like farming simulator style world that we're all trying to uh, play in basically you know we're all trying to simulate the fact we're virtual farmers and I think this steering wheel I should probably look behind me shouldn't I yeah and I think this steering wheel is perfect for that I really do um, yeah and, and there's a lot of controllers to it as well it's not like you're not getting a lot of options it does add in quite a bit there's uh, obviously multiple 
ways to assign this with the, the side panel, this for accelerator. So I've actually assigned this for cruise control, which I think is brilliant because obviously it can toggle the speed of my cruise control. So there's multiple ways you can assign this. You can make it custom. It does come plug and play, but I did find there were some things I needed to sort out. that It wasn't as straightforward as plug and play, but I do think it's a good idea anyway to assign these kind of things to what suits you. Um, and as you can tell, you know, I'm doing an, an, an all right job at this. For someone that's not used to having that kind of setup, it, I'm doing all right. It's not too bad. If I change my camera, I've actually got that pretty level, I think. So that's not too bad at all as well. So I'm happy with that. But I think, you know, as a, as a unit itself, if you play FS every day and you want to improve and make it more immersive, more realistic, I can recommend this for that reason. It's a lot of money, but if you play it a lot, it's worth it just because of the amount of time you're going to be using it. There is obviously the things that I've said already, which is, um, you know, it has to, you have to be honest and stay for the amount of money we pay for these kind of things. You'd expect them to be made a little bit more sturdy, but there's certain things to it that are sturdy. Like the steering wheel does feel quite strong and rubbery at the top. It's just this box at the back. It's quite plasticky. Same goes for this. That's very plasticky, but this is more sturdy and that's more sturdy. And the buttons are, again, a bit plasticky. So there's things that are made better. And it's just about durability. I might come back to this video in a year's time and say, do you know what? All these buttons are starting to go all funny. And, and then I might have an issue at that point because I've paid £360 and I want it to last out. As much as it's obviously improved my gameplay now, if it doesn't last out, then I've got an issue. You know, and don't get me wrong, I am not sponsored in this video. Um, if I was, I'd still be telling you the same. Uh, just because I don't want to sell somebody my opinion and it be not the honest truth. I'd rather be true to myself and true to you guys. So, as a consumer of this product, which is what I am, um, there's things that I'd improve for a shadow, without a shadow of a doubt, but at the same time, it has improved my game and I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. I've enjoyed building the stand for it. It was a nice little project to do in between Christmas and New Year, which so I really enjoyed that. Um, and yeah, so for that reason alone, I'm quite content with this whole purchase, the whole setup. I think my gameplay is going to be improved now. Um, but I know a few people have said, you know, it does look cheap and it's a lot of money for what it is. And you're right, it is. But you've got to ask yourself, how, how much are you going to play FS? Are you going to be playing it like me every day? Do you want to go over to use your steering setup and maybe truck sim or another game because if you do then yeah I agree it might not be the, the product for that because you can get better setups for that and obviously it's more driving isn't it with truck sim and other games like that racing simulators and stuff so there's probably better setups than that um, I have had the farming equipment bundle before so the Logitech one so not the Hori and this is a big improvement on that for me it's a massive improvement the, the wheel's better, the side panel's much better, so this is definitely a step up to the Logitech. However, I haven't tried the Thrustmaster, and I have seen it, and I think that's probably a better finish. I think that's better made, um, and does look very good for what it is. I wouldn't say it's a farming setup, and that's the only problem I've got with that one. I think this one's more suited to farming simulator. It's obviously been designed with that in mind, and you can tell. So I think for me personally, as a content creator making videos on FS, this is the best option for me currently. It is expensive, yes. Um, it could be improved on, as I've said, but I think this is the best one out there, in my opinion. Thrustmaster does look really good, and it's probably right up there, but uh, if I want to try and you know get realistic, feel like I'm in a tractor, using this telehandler, for example, as well, with this side panel, um, then I think this is the, the best option. Definitely. And I think I'm doing alright. I mean, I've you know, this is something I've not been using for, for that long. I mean, it's only been three, the last three videos that I've recorded since I've had this uh, stand set up, and I went away from it for about three weeks whilst I was waiting to build the stand. And I'm happy with how it's turned out. Now, I'm not going to try and put them on top there, because obviously... It's not the easiest thing to do. I would like a way as well to uh, 
maybe just see a bit better out cab view. That's the one thing I think the game's missing. You know, like flight sim, you can lean. I wish I could have a tracks track a tracker that allowed me to lean, uh, but I actually don't think that FS has the actual software in game to allow that to work too well. I mean, I feel like I'd be my head would probably be sitting outside the window. Um, so maybe maybe in the future. I mean VR as well. B VR is a big wish of mine. I want to be able to do FS in VR. That'd be incredible. And uh, I imagine it's not too far away, to be honest. Maybe FS25, who knows? Right, so I think this will be my last load, just showcasing me using the wheel and obviously the side panel, just loading bales. I think loading and unloading bales is the perfect way to showcase it and uh, what you can do. Um, I think if I just like lift up, I might be able to get a better view. Because I really want to try and be getting them closer, don't I? I'd love to know if I, how level I am, because I, I think I'm probably level, if not maybe, yeah, see, a little bit tilted. So that's level outside, but inside, I mean, now it looks level, but it's, it's difficult to eyeball that. I guess that's going to be another thing that probably with time, I'll uh, I'll get better at the judgment of it. Let's give him a bit of a nudge. There we go. And there we go. So let's spin it around. Whew, I was dead close to that then. I probably should have used my camera. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, really nice, really nice to use massive improvement for me personally gameplay wise and uh, yeah I'm very happy with it I'm very happy with it obviously it's going to make the farm and better because obviously you can see that I'm driving a steering wheel uh, when I'm driving around and George is moaning about me how fast I'm going or how slow I'm going all that kind of good stuff that'll happen but yeah I'm happy with it overall my final recap on it is obviously I bought this a while ago I've tried it a few times when I first started it was um, a lot of money uh, I was very happy with the purchase initially, but I knew that I needed to build a stand. The stand that I've built, obviously, I've cable managed. It's uh, really good now and very useful for me because I can switch in between it. It's definitely improved my setup as a whole for recording videos on Farming Simulator and obviously doing my content, but playing the game as well. I'm happy with it. If I was just playing FS for fun right now, I'd still want to use this because I feel like it enhances the gameplay for me. It's suited to Farming Simulator. It's suited to this genre of game for simulation, but Farming Simulation... Um, and I think, yes, for £360, it's a lot of money. I probably would value this at around... Probably, I, I think that you... With the with the quality material that's been used, maybe about 250 I would say, is a fair price to pay for it. So I think I've overpaid for about, by about 100 quid in all fairness. But then again, that 100 quid's the value that I get out of the product. So if it lasts me and I use it as often as I do, then I think it's value for me personally. Um, it just could be improved. It does feel a bit flimsy in places, but the steering wheel is actually quite solid just on the wheel part. Um, the just the buttons feel a bit clicky. You know, they sound a bit clicky, especially these ones here. They definitely do. Um, and these ones in particular, the blue ones over here. Uh, but this arm is is brilliant. It really is. It's, uh, it's really good, and I can't fault this at all. So overall, I'm very happy with this. I think it's definitely enhanced my my setup. Um, I would recommend it to anyone that's plays FS quite a bit, but if you're looking for something to use on multiple games, so with truck sim and all that kind of stuff, it might not be the one for you. That's my honest opinion. Um, is it worth £350? No. Nope. Just going to say it. No, it's not. But at the end of the day, it depends how much you play it. I think that's the only thing I could put it down to. So for me, it was worth £350. But as a whole, is the product worth that for the you know finished quality of it? Probably not. But there you go. That's my take. I just wanted to do a bit of a video showcasing this hurry setup that I've got and also my setup as well, the improved setup, what I've done um, over the last few months to improve on that. And yeah, just give you a bit of a, you know, look at the behind scenes of how I make my videos. So my setup. I also wanted to show this uh, the stand that I built because I'm pretty proud of it. I think I've done a cracking job. Not bad for a, a, a few shops at B&Q for the wood and uh, everything that I needed. And then I, I was shopped online at, at, at Amazon for just some cable management products, which only cost me about £10. So it was 
so the actual stand was was a uh, proper value for money so thanks for watching hopefully you found this video informative hopefully you've enjoyed seeing behind the scenes and my setup um, and all my equipment and everything that i use and also my new steering wheel setup and how i want to play the game going forward um, if you have please give the video a thumbs up because that does help my channel out if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on farming simulator